2022 and 2023 have been bad years to get a job in analytics. There are tens of thousands of people applying for what only seems like thousands of data analyst jobs. You spend your days on LinkedIn mass applying for these jobs, along with thousands of other people, only to be met with email rejections or no emails at all. So why does it feel like you're having so much trouble trying to break into the field? Is it that the job market is just bad, or are you not qualified enough for the role? Well, from what I've researched, I believe this can come down to two factors. One, the interest rates and inflations, and two, the lack of industry knowledge and experience. With the rising interest rates set by the Federal Reserve to combat inflation, we've seen less and less job postings and more and more layoffs, especially in fields like software engineering and data analytics. According to layoffs.fyi, we've seen a total of over 425,000 layoffs since 2022 within the tech industry, with the biggest contributors coming from big tech like Google, Amazon, and Meta. Here's a chart from layoffs.fyi that shows how many tech companies did layoffs and how many employees were affected since the beginning of 2020. From the start of 2020 to the end of 2020, we saw an increasing layoffs totaling over 81,000 employees. But one year after the pandemic lockdowns began, we saw a drastic decrease in layoffs and instead an explosion in hiring trends. This could be due to a combination of factors like the economy opening back up again and the low interest rates env environment which made it very easy for companies and consumers to borrow money. With the explosion in hiring, a lot more people want you to get a tech related job, especially in fields like data analytics and software engineering for things like better pay and remote work. This is especially true for big tech, which also grew during the pandemic. From 2019 to even the middle of 2022, we saw tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of job openings um, as shown in this chart from CNN. And then the second half of 2022 came. Inflation has been skyrocketing since 2021 and the Fed had to find a way to fight it. So on March 16, 2022, the Federal Reserve decided to raise rates again and we went from a rate of 0.08% back in January 2022 to, a, to our current rate of 5.33% in November 2023. With the rising rate and increasing inflation, companies that overhired after the economy started opening up again, especially those from the tech sector, started to do mass layoffs due to economic uncertainty. This means that there are less job postings available and more competition amongst applicants applying for the same job. With how popular roles like data analysts and data scientists are, you'll most likely face off against hundreds or thousands of other applicants, and this would be even worse for fully work from home roles too. But what about the other factor with the lack of industry knowledge and experience? Even if there are more job openings for data analytics available, you'll still be competing against a lot of people. Over the years, data analytics became this hot career path that everyone just wants to break into. With so much saturations, this became a highly competitive field and employers can be picky as they want choosing the best candidate. This is made worse by the rise of boot camps, online certs, and influencers who promise you these coveted data jobs with high pay and work from home options. We have recent college graduates with no other work experience who pay money for these courses thinking that they'll be guaranteed a data analyst job. The reality is that analytics isn't really an entry level field. One of the most important things that an analyst can have is not related to technical skills like having Python or, or R, but your domain knowledge or subject matter expertise of the area that you work at. If you have domain knowledge in your industry, then you can use your analytical skills to produce outcomes. Our technical skills like Python, SQL, and Excel can be taught quickly, but getting domain knowledge is only something that can be done through years of experience in your industry. How can you truly understand the data you're working with without understanding the industry or the business context first. There are cases where you can get a data analyst job with no experience, but those opportunities are really difficult and rare to get. If you do want a data analyst job and you're a recent graduate with no experience, then your best bet would be to like get in any office job where you can work with data. I even made a short video on this topic on how you can get an analyst job realistically, which I'll link in the description below. Once you understand your industry, and you've proven yourself, you can try to do an internal transfer or to another, another department for an analyst job or apply for analyst jobs at other companies. You shouldn't limit your job search by the job title alone either. Even if the job title isn't data analyst, but the key responsibilities um, are analytical type of work, 
then that can still count as a data analyst. But the question still remains to be answered. Will the data analyst job market for the tech sector and any sector in general be bound in 2024? To know that, we would have to look at the two economic indicators like inflation and interest rates. If inflation was to stabilize around the 2% range and interest rate would go down, then that would encourage consumer spending. Theoretically, with the increase in consumer spending, companies will most likely post more job openings. The current inflation rate in the US is about 3.1%, while back in December 2022, it was about 6.5%. So it has been reverting back to the 2% average range. If we look at the federal interest rate now, it is about 5.33% compared to the 4.1% last year. So the good news is that inflation went down drastically, but rates still remain high. If rates can go down over time, then that would encourage companies to borrow more money and take on new projects which can lead to more job openings. But I don't think interest rates will go back down near the 0% level anytime soon like we experienced for about 7 years after the 2008 recession. Inflation is still above the 2% target level, but I do think that the as we get closer to that 2% target, the Fed will start to cut down the rates. Although, although I don't think that will happen in early 2024 though. One good news though is that the BLS does expect data related jobs like data science to grow by 36% between 2021 and 2031. So there is still a demand for data related jobs. It can just depend on what the supply for these jobs are like. So overall, data analytics has become a really saturated field, especially at the entry level. There are so many people trying to break in, but not enough roles to be filled. If the number of job postings can increase in 2024, then that could be an easier time for job applicants. If you really want to get a data analyst job or any analyst job in general, then you'll have to stay really committed to the job hunt. To make things less financially stressful if you don't have a job already, just aim for any office job to help to pay the bills and gain work experience over time. It's very important to be patient and think long term with your career. The job market is cyclical, so over time, it'll become easier to apply and get the roles that you want. I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what else you'd want to see. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.